a first impressions demo video for you uh, featuring the Sally Hansen uh, Salon Insta Gel Strips. The starter kit, um, I'm going to be using this so you'll be seeing me fe featuring this exact uh, one. The shade is Shall We Dance and it's like a just a very muted pink, almost like a almost clear really on your nails and I also have on my nails right now this other color right here I hope you can see well and it is the get juiced uh, kit so basically let me tell you the difference between these two right um, when you're gonna try if you're gonna try this for the first time you would most likely have to buy the starter kit unless you already have some kind of lamp in your house if you've tried any other kind of uh, gel manicure before you probably have a, a lamp if not you would have to get this one first which is this starter kit and it comes with a little lamp once you have this then you can go and get the different uh, gel strips in other colors and it comes in a smaller package like this okay for the just the insta gel strips color part you would still get like 16 of these things the little nail strips there's also a, an instruction sheet you would get the same thing to file your nail and the buff and two of the little wipes and a top coat so basically you will end up with a ton of top coats every time you buy a different color if you're into this system you know you're gonna end up with a a large supply of uh, top coat because it, every time you buy a new color you get a new top coat anyway so overall um, I've tried the two colors so far was that showy dance and now this more like pinkish orangish kind of color and the colors are great the selection of uh, designs and all that if you're into it it's great as well um, I was never a big big fan of the salon effect strips because I don't feel like they give you the same finish as if you are to paint your nails yourself because of the shape of your nails because of the way those strips are I feel like there's it doesn't cover your nails exactly how you would have coverage if you had painted them so that's my only con as far as the, this um, kit goes um, do I say it lasts two weeks? I don't think so. For me, any gel manicure that I get never lasts that long anyway. And I always end up chipping on the on the you know the, the tips on my nails. Now that they're super short like this, they probably will last longer. Um, just because I'm not, you know, if I'm typing on the computer, I'm not really using my nails, it's just my fingers. But if you have longer nails, chances are it won't chip sooner than two weeks okay another thing you need to be careful when you're using these nail strips is to make sure it is very very glued onto your nails completely before you put on the top coat because sometimes on the sides it's not really completely even and then that also will compromise the the lasting of this the system so overall I think price wise hmm if you were to buy any other kind of nail polish gel like and you buy just the nail polish and the, and the two other steps which is the base and the top you would probably end up spending more than $25 so price wise I think it's pretty much comparable to what's out there already in the market um, it is easy just because sometimes and I've tried gel nail polish before that are not clear so like reds and darker colors and they're not so easy to apply as it would you know because you have to be careful because every time you cure them if you're if you're applying that on your skin that's gonna be hard on your skin and you have to peel it off and why not and speaking of peeling off um, the proper way to remove this is like any other gel nail polish that you've used you're supposed to soak your nails in acetone and once you soak them either in a bowl with acetone and if you do that make sure you put some kind of Vaseline or something around your cuticles and fingers just so it doesn't dry them out or you can also use cotton balls and soak them in acetone place it on your nail and wrap it in foil and you're supposed to leave it on for about five to ten minutes that way the the gel will dissolve and you will also lift and once that happens you most likely can go in with anything like a stick like this or any kind of spatula and you can probably take it off um, you know it, the packaging say even you're not allowed to peel it off 
I'm a, I say it's not the best thing to do. Have I ever done it? Hell yeah. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, one peels off and I'm fr I freak out if one of my nails don't look right. And once one peels off, I want to take off everything else. So you, I've peeled off my nails very, very, very often. And it's not the greatest thing to do because you do damage your nails a little bit. You will see, you know, once you buff them again, and you'll be fine. But overall, you're supposed to soak them. So overall, I would say it's a great product. Um, give it a try if you like. Watch the demo that I have right up, right after this, and leave me a comments, questions, whatever you have to tell me. Please feel free, and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so the kit looks like this. This is the the actual box, and then on one side gives you what's inside of the box. So the little mini light for one finger. This is the top coat. These are some wipes. They're supposed to wipe your finger, your, you know, your nails off after you cure them. And then nail strips, so the collar strips, and then there's a little um, wooden stick and a file with a buff on the other side. And then on this side, it just gives you an overview of the steps on how to do this. So the shade I have here today is called uh, Shelly Dance, and it's just like a nudish kind of pink color. I'm just going to open the box here with you. Um, so here's the lamp um, connection thing, which I will plug in in a second, and then it comes with the with the little cleanser. Now the cleaning pads or whatever these are called, um, nail cleanser pad, there's two, um, the little n nail file filer so you can trim off the access of the, you know, the nail stickers, then the little stick and then on this other side you can use for buffing, it comes with the instructions, which I will go over with you uh, briefly. Uh, it's basically the same thing it says in the box, and then it comes with 16 of these um, gel nail strips, um, and you, you're supposed to measure them against your nails to see which ones will work best. And then the little lamp thing is here. So this is like a one finger. This is the only pain I think for me because you're gonna have to do 30 seconds for each nail, so it's a little time consuming there. And then this is the the top coat, which has advised, you know, the, uh, Sally Hands advises to shake this very well once you're about to use it, so when it's time we're going to do that. Now, for the instructions, first of all, step number one, you're, uh, start with clean, dry nails, uh, push back your cuticles. In my case, I like to trim my cuticles, so I, I just did that. Um, shape uh, free edge of the nail with light and dark pink side of the nail. You know, just trimming off, making sure your nails are nice and ready for for the actual uh, nail strip. And then second, you're gonna select the best fitting sizes for your nails, and then you're gonna apply that. Your once I'm gonna select my nails, and then I'll show you how to apply them. Next, you're supposed to shape them, so once you have them on your nail bed, you're supposed to trim off the excess. And then lastly, you're supposed to apply the gel top coat, which is this little guy that comes in it. And you're supposed to shake this very well and apply a thin coat to one nail, um, and then cure it for 30 seconds in the lamp, but the lamp will turn off automatically once you're done with that. And then after you cure the nail, you're supposed to use those cleanser pads to get, because it's going to be a little sticky on top so you're supposed to wipe it off and then it goes on with the removal part which I'm not going to go into it at this point okay so I have select my five and I'm starting with the thumb and then the other fingers um, so what you need to do is to apply these and these you probably apply them the same way as you apply the regular Sally Hansen salon effect you peel off the clear part you're going to peel off like this the back of it as you can see like that and then you actually need to cut this part off here too you don't really need that part 
and then you want to apply that on your nail. So this is a very clear nail polish, so it's not going to be super fun to show you. But you put that very close to your cuticles, and then you smooth it down. Make sure you smooth it down like this so it doesn't show. This is going to be basically like almost like a clear manicure to be quite honest. So this is what it looks like, as you can tell. And then you're going to use a little filer thing and you're going to trim off the excess. Just like that. And then you want to smooth it down with your finger, warming it up so it really glues it down. Like that. I'm going to do all the others and then I'll come back to show you the next step, which is to apply the top coat and cure it. Okay, so I have applied the nail um, color strip on all my nails and filed them. And my nails are very short. If you have very short nails, some tips I have for you. Um, if you buy one package, you might be able to even use like the same strip twice for two nails because you know it's not your nails are not long enough to take over this whole strip. So you could use one side on one nail, the other side on the other. You would double the amount of uses you can get out of this. So the next step now is to apply the top coat, and it has to vigorously shake this. So I'm going to try my vigorous shaking. And then you want to apply a thin coat on each nail. Start here with my thumb. And it's just like a clear nail polish. You make sure you cover the entire nail bed. This is what's going to give you, you know, it's going to seal your manicure as well as make it shine. So you need to apply all over the nail bed. And make sure you really go over and touch every part of the nail. And it's almost difficult to do a thin layer because this thing really spits out way too much product. Another thing you want to do is seal the, the bottom of your nail. For me, with very short nails, it's very difficult to do because you get more on your skin than your nail. But this will also help to you know for your nails to stay on for long so that is that and then with this little stick thing that you you know came in the package make sure you clean off the excess of your skin on your skin because you don't want to cure that because it's becoming you know becomes hard and you don't want to clean it you know you don't want to have that on your skin so make sure you clean the excess I'm just gonna I don't have anything to clean on that I'm just gonna wipe on this Okay, like that. And then it goes into your little light. You put your finger there and push the button. As you can see, it's lit up. And then once it comes off, you can move on to the next nail. And we're going to do this for every single one of them. Okay, now when you touch it, you feel it's a little tacky. I suppose. So maybe, let me just show you this here now. You're going to come in with that little cleanser pad and wipe off that. So that is the final look. So I'm going to do it for all my other nails and then I'll come back just to show you the, the, the result for all of it. Okay, so I have, I have finished applying the top coat on all my, my nails and this is what it looks like. I'll really show you, but the idea is that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.